Brad, Erica, Beacon Light is known as the place that feeds the hungry and clothes the poor. Tonight, as Chicago fire investigators work to find out what started this fire, a larger question looms. What's next for those who leaned on this place every day? That's my church. Bishop Jerome Powell had just left his church to meet youth and parents at the Museum of Science and Industry this holiday. We were all on the expressway. We got the phone call. For 20 years, this church and Helping Hands Ministry located in the building was a source of food and clothing and school supplies for the less fortunate here on the south side. Two decades of work burned up in a single afternoon. I don't know. Lost for words right now. Firefighters had a hard time accessing this building and trouble with one hydrant, but no one was inside and only one firefighter hurt with minor injuries. Beacon Light Ministries prides itself on being more than just words, but action, helping a community, proving church is not just four walls. We come out of the four walls to reach the people in the community. Today, as the investigation is fresh, so too are questions about what's next for this ministry as a pastor with roots 20 years deep finds himself at a crossroads. Maybe not here, but I believe God. Everything we have is just on hold right now. And now six hours after it first was set off in some form or fashion, we still don't know why, the scene remains active and the cause of this still very much unclear. Live in the Roseland neighborhood, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.